Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Matt, and this channel is all about learning how to tie flies. Now the pattern I'm going to be walking through next is a black hurl midge. Simple name, simple pattern. It's a midge, it's got some black hurl in it. Very easy to tie, can be very effective. I think you're going to enjoy it. Let's get started. Now this is a size 18. These can be tied from 18 down to 24. Uh, so if you don't believe how tiny that is, there's my index finger. This thing is, this is tiny, and you can tie them smaller than that. So I will explain the materials as I go and put the recipe in the description. So like I said, this is a size 18 standard dry fly hook. Now I had to step my thread down in size, so this is 12 aught in black. I'll lay a base down to the start of the bend. And the tail of this guy is just black hackle fibers. Just a small little clump of black hackle fibers. This is probably the hardest part of the fly. That's the length I want right there. Tying it in and getting this caught in with this, as small of a hook as this is. Now this is a Regal Revolution vise, but it is not a midge head, it's a standard head. Which, you know, they advertise that you could tie flies down to 22 or below. You gotta have some pretty dexterous fingers to do that. So, it's hard enough with 18. I'm gonna catch this in back up here and snip this excess off. Now the hurl on this guy, ostrich hurl. There's your piece right there. These things are pretty small, but again, it's gonna look almost like hackling when you, it's gonna, when you wrap it up as the body. So it's gonna look like a, almost like a palmered fly, but it's just this hurl. So catch that in back to where you wanna start the wraps. Bring your thread back up here where we're going to tie it off. What we got there? Some something sticking up. We'll see if we can bury that as we wrap it up. So go ahead and just touch and turns all the way up, one right in front of the other. Okay, when you get it up to the front, go ahead and secure this with a couple of wraps. We'll snip this excess off. Now we'll wrap up our head. This is where it also helps to have tiny little fingers if you, if you can get, pull this back. If not, don't worry about it and just whip finish it and call it done. I got a few fibers sticking forward, but as long as I can get my tippet through the eye there, I don't worry about it. I do not put head cement on these. You probably could. It would just, you'd have to put it on your bodkin and very tiny amount. I just put one or sometimes two whip finishes on it. And it has always held up for me so far. So there you go folks, Black Hurl Midge. That's the only name it's got. Pretty easy tie, very effective pattern. Now one note on fishing these. This thing is gonna sit a little bit in the surface film and if your eyes are like mine, more than, oh, 20 feet out, you won't be able to see this thing. So what I'll do is about two feet above it, just tie on a small piece of yarn indicator so at least I know roughly where my fly is in the water and then I'm watching that area for any any takes any any rises and then you set the hook so that's it not too difficult to fish not hard at all to tie but can be a very effective pattern if you got midges on the surface so anyway that's all folks I really appreciate you watching we'll see you next time